What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See the red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show you support for the channel. Those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So this is part two in the current ongoing series. Uh, five fragrances chosen by me, fragrances based on my opinion that I believe are perfect to start with based on a certain budget. So this is gonna be Freshies, Swiss Army Knife Do-It-All Fragrance, something that gears more towards events, dates, and then a tobacco fragrance for the winter. So let's jump into it. All right guys, so today's video, let's keep it under $250. So the value of the fragrances rose a little bit. Some a little bit more expensive than the others. There's a cheapie or so in here mixed in, but we keep the budget right under $250. This is a good way, I believe, to spend $250 and really start a collection and start your fragrance journey. So first and foremost, we're gonna go with the Freshie that I chose, and it's one that's very beloved. It's not gonna surprise anyone that I chose this, and it's actually the cheapest fragrance on this list. It's the Freshie. It's an Invictus Aqua Vibe. It's from Davidoff. It's Cool Water Wave. This is one of my favorite freshies. Such a good fragrance. The opening's very shower gel, and then you really get the Invictus Aqua Vibe in this one. It's a decent performer. It's a woody aquatic dry down. You get about five hours with it, six hours-ish. It becomes really a skin scent, but very good fragrance. You can get this 4.2 ounce, 125 ml bottle in that $20 range. It, it rounds off everything. I, I didn't start the budget here and I didn't finish it either. I just felt like it was the way to go for my freshie for this budget. Oh, and you can't go wrong at any budget with this one. This is a fantastic freshie. Another one that's just like Nautica Voyage, like in the last video, that's just, you're gonna smell fresh and, fresh and clean. You're gonna like the way you smell and so will everyone else. And then moving on, this time we're not sticking with just a freshie, we're going blue. We're actually adding a blue fragrance this go around and it's kind of 1A and 1B, I guess 1B for my favorite blue fragrance. Um, this one's a bit more aquatic and marine and it's a pretty good performer. It's a compliment magnet. It's Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. This is definitely gearing more towards the summer. This is spring summer. It's very aquatic. This is summer performance in a bottle. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is a performer. I get every bit of nine hours and it projects very heavy for the first few hours. This is a favorite. Um, shoot, Scent Nation, Mo, he bought tons of bottles of this during uh, the last Yellow Tag Clearance event at Marshalls. This is one that I highly suggest now that we can step the budget up a little bit instead of getting Legend Spirit. Let's get Aqua Atlantique in the mix because this is one that I'm confident most of you will really enjoy. Like I said, it's very aquatic, very marine. It's got a salty quality. It's kind of got that Ambroxan thing going on with the ambergris and the amberwood. Um, it's very mass appealing. It's a, co a compliment factor for sure. This is one that you're going to enjoy and people around you are going to enjoy smelling. And it performs very well. Aqua Atlantique from Bulgari. And then now stepping into the Swiss Army Knife, the do-it-all work fragrance. Um, this one may not come as a surprise to a lot of you. Um, I've recently praised it. I've praised it many times. This is a standalone option here. This literally can do it all. Um, this is the Swiss Army Knife fragrance. It's Giorgio Armani, Aqua Di Gio Profumo. You can do everything with this. This is your day off. This is out the shower. This is going to work. This is going to dinner. This is going to a wedding. You can literally do it all. Performance is great. Compliment factor is high. There's really no downside to this one, in my opinion. It's just that good of a fragrance. I love the way it smells. Most people love the way this thing smells. Um, this is one that kind of jumped up the budget a bit, obviously, because this is far from a cheapie. It's not the most expensive fragrance out there, but it's far from a cheapie. But it's a damn good fragrance. Uh, this is a must have in this budget range. This is the one I would recommend the most because this is the one that can do everything for you. This is your do it all grab and go Swiss Army Knife fragrance for under $250. Aqua Di Gio Profumo. Now, when it comes to dates, events, going out, things like that, 
This one can do all those things very well. We're gonna spice it up a little bit. You can wear this one to work too. Same thing as the last go around with F black. You can wear that one to work if you really want to. This one's got a little bit more of an edge to it. This one's a little more seductive because it's spicy. It's Spice Bomb, Victor and Rolf. Now we're starting to have fun. Aqua Di Gio Profumo, Aqua Atlantique, Spice Bomb. See what happens when you open up the wallet a little bit more. The fragrances get even more fun. Still a solid performer. I get every bit of seven hours and it is the replicated spicy fragrance. Most of the spicy fragrances you've smelled that are cheaper than this one are trying to replicate this one. This beautiful grenade right here. Pull that ring and spray away. Such a good fragrance, it really is. Such a great fragrance. Good's an understatement for this one. But this is one that you can give yourself a couple of sprays, head on out to dinner, meet the wife, go shoot some pool, you can go have a beer after work. You can go to a wedding with this one. You can do many things. Hell, you can rock it on your day off, really. This is kind of a Swiss Army knife with a little bit of seduction added because of the spices. Spice Bomb, Victor and Rolf. And then finally is gonna be the tobacco fragrance. The cool weather tobacco fragrance that I chose. Um, talked about this one recently on the channel. Um, it fell into budget, but it was the first one that came to mind to keep myself on budget. Cause there's a couple of tobacco fragrances that could have went right here. But when I, it came down to the options that were available to maintain the budget, this was the clear favorite and the clear winner and kind of a no brainer. It's John Barbados, vintage. Tobacco rhubarb, the Justin Copeland special. This is a stay fresh production right here. A little shameless plug for you, Justin. Damn good fragrance, a little not edgy, but a slightly unique because of the rhubarb factoring in with the tobacco. So I believe it's got a little bit of bitter orange in it, some sort of orange, if I remember correctly. That's definitely an orange citrus to it. It's, it's kind of gentlemanly, to be honest with you. The rhubarb classes it a bit. It's not your standard sweet tobacco. This is a very well put together fragrance. Um, this is one you can throw a sports jacket on. You can throw you know, your North Face, your black North Face jacket on, your, your North Face vest with, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You're picturing it, you're visualizing it. We're there. So this is the tobacco fragrance I would suggest to stick in this budget. So to recap real quick, your Freshies slash Blue Fragrance. Aqua Atlantique, Cool Water Wave. The Swiss Army Knife, Aqua Digio Profumo. The event slash date night bordering the Swiss Army Knife, Spice Bomb. And then our tobacco fragrance, John Barbados Vintage. Oop, backwards, excuse me. So, all favorites of mine. So, it's, to those of you that have watched me for a while, these picks really shouldn't really, sh shouldn't shock you because these are great fragrances, in my personal opinion. I love these fragrances. These are fragrances I wear on a regular basis. And it's ones that I would strongly suggest to someone starting out that has that $250 budget to work with. I think this is a great way to start. So until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you like the picks? Do you love the picks? Do you loathe the picks? Let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, guys, we'll say this. Get your hands on some of these and you give them a spray now. You'll probably thank me later. Have a great day, guys.